playing for Syria in Syria. The orchestra from Russia's Marinsky Theatre has staged a surprise concert in Palmyra's amphitheatre. Russian airstrikes helped force ISIL militants out of the ancient city. There were tributes to Khaled al-Assad, the site's long-standing archaeologist who was beheaded by the extremists. Much of the UNESCO site was destroyed. The head of St. Petersburg's State Hermitage Museum told the audience it could have been saved. Without naming names, he appeared to criticize the US-led coalition. The battle went on for so long and many of the exhibits were smuggled out, he said. The extremists could have been bombed into the ground in an instant, but they weren't. Well, our guys weren't there back then. Vladimir Putin addressed the audience by video link. The conductor, Valery Gergiev, a prominent supporter of the Russian leader, described the concert as a protest against ISIL barbarism. <laughs> Moscow, much criticized over its Syrian policy, will be hoping that this projects Russia as a force for good. Our correspondent says a symphonic concert at the Palmyra Amphitheater was impossible until recently. The ancient city was under ISIL control, its monuments deliberately destroyed. Now this leads calls for international solidarity to restore Palmyra. Euronews is on a media facility in Syria provided by the Russian Ministry of Defense. Our reporting is not subject to military control.